Welcome to Network with Pride. I want to thank everyone for joining us today in our career series, Network with Pride, where we are conducting informational interviews with a variety of professionals from all sorts of companies and industries. And today we are thrilled to have Tech Systems with us. Um, so you're gonna hear more about how to transition from college to career, information to help you with your job search, what recruiters are looking for, and more. This is a new program that we have launched uh, online with the uh, Graduate Business Career Relations here at Hofstra. So thank you so much for coming. And just keep in mind, this is a weekly series, so we do this every Wednesday at 1215. So check Handshake for all of our upcoming events. Speaking of, you can save the date because next week on May 20th, we have Hachette Book Group being featured for Network with Pride. And for those of you who are gearing up for your job or internship search, you may want to check out our career boot camp. And that is a special series of programs, May 26 to 28, that are going to cover a wide variety of topics, like where the jobs are, how to brush up and polish your LinkedIn profile, how to network, how to get your application materials ready to apply for new opportunities. One thing to consider is if you would like a one-on-one -on -one appointment, our career advisors are available and ready to meet with you and you can schedule an appointment through Connect. We also have quick questions via Zoom, and you want to be active and engaged on Handshake. That's where you'll find all the information for our virtual events and all the current job and internship postings that have been put up by employers who are still recruiting now, and there are many. So you want to get on to Handshake and take a look at some of the resources. And like I mentioned, meet with a counselor if you need to have your resume brushed up, if you need help preparing for virtual interviews, all of the steps that you need to take to be ready to go when recruiters are hiring. So another way to stay connected is through all of our social channels. You can see we're pretty active on Instagram, on Twitter, on Facebook, as is the Graduate Business Career Relations, so you can connect with them that way too. So as I mentioned, today is extra special because we have Jenny here today, who is a Hofstra alumna, and we are so thrilled. Jenny uh, came to Hofstra and graduated in 2016 with her bachelor's degree in marketing, and she has been working here on Long Island in tech systems as an account manager. So she's going to fill you in about how she was able to transition from college to career at Hofstra, how she made that leap, and how she stayed really challenged and engaged in her current role. So we're gonna hear all about what is Tech Systems and what does she do there and all that good stuff. So thank you so much for, um, for coming. And uh, without further ado, I'd like you all to meet Jenny. So Jenny, thank you so much for being here today. Why don't you kind of kick things off with telling us a little bit about yourself and your time at Hofstra, how you found your first position, and we'll start there. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for having me. I'm super uh, excited to be here. Um, so I'm actually not originally from Long Island. I'm originally from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Um, found myself at Hofstra University. Best four years of my life, like most people would say. Um, was super involved at Hofstra. Um, was part of Relay for Life. Was in a sorority. Um, so really, really great memories. But um, it was my senior year, like most seniors, that you realize that um, you need to figure out life after college. So um, the spring semester, I decided to get my life together and attended the Hofstra Spring Career Fair. And that's um, actually where I met Tech Systems. So thanks to Hofstra and thanks to that career fair that they um, gave me the outlet to find the career that I've now been in for the past four years, which is awesome. So um, without that career fair, I don't know that I could say that I would still be uh, in the position that I am in today. So that's really exciting. So now I think for a lot of students, it can be intimidating to think about how you're going to transition from being a student to being a professional. So I thought it might help to for you to maybe share with everyone maybe what some of the classes that you took at Hofstra that you felt like were helpful in your transition to the full-time position 
the activities you were involved with, the clubs and organizations, or any internship opportunities, part-time jobs, how you were able to build up your experience and skill set to be considered a competitive candidate. Yeah, definitely. Um, so I was a marketing major at Hofstra. Um, so I mean, having all of those different business classes and the way that Hofstra has set up their business program is um, even if you have a specific major, like mine was in marketing, um, you still take an accounting class, a finance class, so on and so forth. So I think having um, that diverse set of skill sets was awesome. Um, I remember one of my mark classes in particular, we got to... Um, to make a sales pitch to go um, about how they could better reach out to certain customers in a suburban versus an urban area. Um, I think that was a huge opportunity and something that I was able to put on my resume because um, not only did we have to come with a pitch and uh, pay and data, but then we had to present the pitch to actual Geico representatives. So I think that whole experience of um, having to be in front of real life working professionals, even though I was still a college student, was a huge opportunity, really something cool to put on my resume that uh, not necessarily other students at other universities would have, but I think that helped me stand out. Um, I think being involved in different activities throughout camp, uh, the campus was awesome as well. Um, like I said, I was part of Relay for Life. I actually, um, my roommate and I senior year were the head Sixteen, um, I was a part of my sorority and heavily involved in my sorority to put on different philanthropic events. And I think through that different like event planning, having to network with different folks on Hofstra's campus to be able to bring that event to life, even um, external companies that would help sponsor or uh, was willing to donate, whether it was food or gift cards or whatever it may be, I think was also a really good experience to be able to uh, continue to learn to how to speak to those kinds of folks. It's very different than, you know, talking to your friends to put together a professional email or um, a professional letter to reach out to those folks looking for partnerships. So I think um, that was a great opportunity. Um, and last but not least, I was lucky enough to have an internship senior year, or excuse me, my junior year. Um, I actually did find it um, on the portal handshake um, with a small company called uh, Four Winds Travel. They're right in Jericho. Um, they basically set up trips that like high schoolers and middle schoolers take. So like I think of myself when I was in high school and middle school, I was in the band and we would take a yearly trip to Florida, to Disney. This company basically would put that whole trip together and help create an agenda for high school and middle school organizations. So I was a marketing intern there helping to um, work with the schools, figure out what kinds of agendas they wanted, where they were looking to travel to help um, book hotels and uh, travel agents, which was really awesome. And I think it was like my first step into the real world and what it was like working every day, having to wake up at a certain time, not getting home till after five o'clock, which I think was um, a really good experience because that can definitely be uh, a little bit of a shock after college. You're used to kind of admit this, sleeping in a little late or staying up late and um, not having to wake up early and stuff. I think those things I think were like the biggest things that helped me really build up my resume and, and set myself apart from other candidates maybe worth applying to the same job that I was. I think you bring up an excellent point and I think of what's unique about the Hofstra education is the practical experience that's woven in the curriculum of the coursework that you take and I loved hearing about the pitch that you did in class because I think oftentimes students may stress like, well, I only did one internship or I didn't do enough of this one or two things that employers look for. And I liked hearing about your experience being so well-rounded in a way that you, you know, I think what's important to employers is being able to demonstrate your skill set. And you just provided a lot of great examples of how you were able to do that and not just in one capacity. Some of it happened in academics, some of it happened in co-curricular experience, and some of it happened in internship experience. And I think, you know, for someone who has worked in recruitment before, I'm sure, you know, that's, uh, that's what it's all about is being able to demonstrate how you possess a skill and how you've used it in a wide uh, array of, of uh, environments. So absolutely. speaking of that, you know, um, when you were a student and you were getting ready to go to the career fair, 
did you know a lot about tech systems? And if you were a student sitting in on this call, how would you describe what tech systems does? Yeah, so I actually had nothing, I knew nothing about tech systems. I had knew nothing about the staffing or recruiting industry whatsoever. And now being in it, it's actually quite a really large industry. There's a lot of competitors out there. Uh, which is kind of cool not knowing and figuring it out. But um, Texas Systems in a nutshell, so we are one of the IT information technology staffing and recruiting firms in the nation. Um, we have over 100 locations globally, uh, basically also in almost every major city in almost every single state in the United States. So actually we set up our Long Island uh, Melville office, but we do here in the tri-state area have a Manhattan office, we have two Jersey offices, two Connecticut offices, so even just in this area. Uh, um, we're really well spread out. So um, really what we do is we work with different clients on the Long Island area, well-known clients like um, your Northwell Health, your Canon USA, your Henry Shines. Um, and work with hiring managers over there to understand um, what projects, what goals, what initiatives they're looking to complete from like a technology perspective. Uh, and we help them when it comes to hiring. So depending on what open needs that they might have, um, we can help match them with really great information to technology candidates that are in the market. So in a nutshell, that's really what uh, Tech Systems is what we do. And if you could describe your you know what the entry level experience was like as you got on board with tech systems and kind of you know the steps that you've taken in your career while you've been working for the company yeah definitely so um the interview process was pretty straightforward um it was a phone interview and then a face-to-face -face interview and then um we went on site for a half a day which i really loved because then you got an opportunity to sit with um different folks really junior level folks really senior level folks within the company really understand what they did from a day to day because um i think we can all say we've experienced you go on an interview and it's really great if you get the job and then you don't know the job details until you show up day one so i really loved that tech systems kind of gave you uh, a little bit of an insight as to what your day-to-day -day was before you signed up. Um, there wasn't any like previous experience necessary. They, similar to what you were saying before, Jenna, were really looking for someone who could just talk to the skill sets that they could bring to the table. So um, yeah, I had one internship, but I think the fact that I was able to um, rely on some of my class experience to talk about my skill sets or other areas, I think is really what they look for um, as the company and why you're passionate or interested in going into kind of that sales and recruiting space. I was lucky enough um, with my starting some of the other organizations I was involved in on campus that I'd done some of that recruitment stuff. So I was able to really talk to it was something I was passionate about, which I think helped a lot. So um, when you started tech systems, myself included, you start off in a recruiter role which is what I did. Um, and as a recruiter, really, you were talking to candidates in the market, whether they're very junior, very, whether they're very senior, in that information technology space. Um, but no need to be scared because they don't throw you in for day one. There's a really long 13-week training program that they give you all of the tools necessary to make sure that you feel great about what you're about to talk about, um, what tech systems does, who we are, all the tools necessary for it. They just, you know, just break the wild, but I can promise you that, which is awesome and made me feel so much better about my job. Um, so I recruited for two and a half years. I absolutely loved it. Um, I recruited specifically in our digital and creative division. So I really spoke to um, digital marketing folks that were in the industry. So marketing technologies, um, user experience designers, social media um, specialists were really kind of the folks that I'm talking to. And then um, I got an opportunity uh, to grow my career. I'm um, to be in a class that really uh, teaches you more about like the sales and being in front of the customer because really as a recruiter, more in front of the consultant, um, folks that are looking for a job. But I really kind of wanted that next step, that next challenge um, and got an opportunity to get promoted to an account manager. So um, really the biggest difference between the recruiter and the account manager role is the account manager myself, I'm now actually interfacing and working with hiring managers directly. So um, I'm going on site, sitting down with them, understanding again their goals, their initiatives, what projects look like for the year, and how someone might, like myself might be able to partner with them um, on whether that's staffing needs, finding a person, or even service opportunities. So then 
Um, I have recruiter partners that I work with in the office who then help me find the candidates that then those hiring managers uh, look like. So I think something that's great about tech systems is the partnership. You have so many people around you that want to help you, want to see you do well. As much as it's a sales environment and competitive, like most sales environments are, um, I think something that differs tech systems from other organizations out there is again that camaraderie people truly are going to have your back want to see you do well help you out where you need um and push you kind of to that next step when when you're ready for the next challenge that promotion thank you you know you brought up an excellent point which is to say there's a lot of students that are looking for that more structured experience and that supportive environment and it sounds like tech systems would be a good fit for those that are seeking that um, and you know speaking of you know seeing a company that has opportunity for growth which your role is demonstrating, you know, not only yeah. were you able to get on the board, you know, get on board early on in your career, but you're able to grow and move forward with new opportunities. Um, are you seeing now that you're working with some of these partners, you know, um, with recruitment, what are some of the trends that you're seeing in the world <laughs> now in terms of hiring decisions and, you know, you mentioned your experience of being able to go on site, which, you know, now is not really an option for a lot of candidates. Correct. So, <laughs> yeah. So for someone who's been working in recruitment, how have you th seen things shift the past few weeks? Yeah, definitely. Um, one point that you did bring up that I did just want to say about Texas, since it's also great in terms of growth, is there's opportunities. Like if you in the recruitment role and realize, hey, that you don't necessarily want to go into the sales and be account manager. There's so many other opportunities for both, which I think is really exciting. And even the past four years with the organization, they've created so many new roles. And it's really because of people um, almost finding a need for that opportunity and realizing, hey, I'm really passionate about what I do. I don't necessarily want to go to this role, but I also see a need for this type of opportunity. The company's almost made that happen. So, um, I think that that's really cool too, that you're not necessarily siloed to just one growth track, that there's a their career going. But um, on your actual question in terms of what we're seeing from the recruitment space right now, um, yeah, I mean, a lot has clearly changed in, in the past few months. Um, not as much, unfortunately, human interaction anymore. We're not able to go on site or meet with candidates or even hiring managers. Um, unfortunately, companies are on hiring freezes and budget frozen right now but that doesn't mean all hope is lost by any means there are definitely companies out there that are still hiring um and i think seniors should keep that in mind i think we've seen healthcare space still hiring as you could imagine right especially from an information technology space they need to keep those applications up and running those applications are typically keeping people alive so um, there's definitely needs on the healthcare side there's um, needs for maybe the smaller company side and even as i'm talking to hiring managers now it's just things are going to have to turn around. They can't be like this forever. It's just kind of figuring it out that if and when. So we've even seen um, success right now, even if companies necessarily um, have job openings, talking to hiring managers about great candidates that are out in the market. So um, if and when things open up or things are ready to go, they have great candidates um, ready to interview and ready to hire. Higher, which I think is super important because when things turn around, those great candidates aren't going to be on the market for very long. They're going to be getting scooped up pretty fast. So um, from a recruiting perspective, it's been awesome. I mean, we're talking to lots of candidates who are actively um, in the market or even just looking for folks to network with. I mean, I talk to people all day long, even if they're not actively looking, but just looking for a partner. Hey, what are you seeing from the market? What types of trends are you seeing? What are different companies on the island telling you? So. Um, I think it's been really interesting. Every day is a is a new day, but a lot of companies, based off of what I'm hearing, seem pretty hopeful that things will turn around. And just kind of figuring out when that'll be. So, I definitely staying hopeful, which is positive. It's nice to hear that positivity, and I think it's helpful for students to hear it as they're preparing for their search. Um, and you had mentioned, you know, um, uh, some things that you know, not only can they be doing their research and continuing to connect with recruiters, but to put yourselves in the shoes of a, a student 
either a current student or one who just is graduating right now, what other tips or advice would you give them for being prepared for when recruiters open things up and they do start interviewing? So um, what are some things that students can work on? Yeah, definitely. So um, obviously updating your resume is super important. Um, putting internship experience, I would say even to putting that classroom experience up there, if it's relevant to your major, to the job that you're looking to get, that's super important because hiring managers know, especially for more entry level or green students, they're not going to have all the experience in the world and that's okay, but definitely talk yourself up, talk to the experience that you do have, class projects, um, organizations that you're involved in, maybe how that directly relates to your um, major. I think that kind of stuff's important. I think also making sure your LinkedIn is updated. Um, you would be really surprised how many hiring managers that we'll talk to. And that's not even just entry level folks, that's even senior level folks in the market um, who will look at their resume and then immediately go to their LinkedIn and almost match it up. And if dates aren't matching or companies aren't matching, um, they'll kind of start to scratch their head and be like, hey, is this person potentially lying or, or what's going on there? So I think just making sure your resume and your LinkedIn are both updated and they match to one another is super important. Um, I think, too, doing your research on some companies, right, taking the extra step to go click around on their website a little bit, go look at their about, maybe go to LinkedIn, see if you have any mutual connections for folks that work there, even if they're a second or a third connection, do you have someone that can help make an intro for you to make um, that that interview a little bit more warm or find a common connection to, to eventually that hiring manager. I think things like that that you can do to just kind of differentiate and, uh, and stand out is awesome. Um, my other piece of advice is right when, when we all start interviewing and I was the same way, you get nervous and that's totally okay. Um, but take a deep breath. Again, hiring managers aren't looking for you to know all of the answers to the test. They're also really paying attention to your personality and you. And are you going to be a good cultural fit with a team? Yeah, you might not have all the skills in the world, but if you bring some something else to the table that they feel like they're missing, that's just as good. And I've seen candidates get hired that, hey, might fall short from a skill set perspective, but they just really like them as a person. And that person had a willingness to learn and grow and be a sponge. And sometimes that's even more important. So that'd be awesome my advice. Just be yourself. That's excellent advice. And I, you know, of course, I'm thrilled you're echoing a lot of the lessons and tips that we give our students. And we <laughs> even for that career boot camp that we have May 26th to the 28th, we have a special LinkedIn uh, workshop so students can work on polishing their LinkedIn profile. And we are utilizing Big Interview right now that students can use in order to have that interview practice because boy, oh boy, when you have a video interview, it's a whole new ball game. So students- It is. <laughs> and have you seen companies utilizing video interviews even before all of this? So- Yeah, because even there are students that might want or just folks that might want to relocate. So yeah, like Skype, Zoom, WebExes are huge if for some reason they can't go on site. And even like you started to say, even right now, you're seeing that utilized even more so because it gives at least some type of human interaction so you can kind of be able to talk and get to know the person something that you might lose over the phone so yeah absolutely a lot of a lot of video uh, conferencing for sure so now is usually the time in the program where I invite any of the students who have joined us if they have questions they can either utilize the chat function or take a moment to ask the question to Jenny and she might be able to give you some insight, um, but feel free to engage now if, if you'd like to ask a question. And you can either unmute yourself or you could type your question in the chat. If you have it. And we'll give everyone a minute. Well, I know, you know, I'm curious too, since Tech Systems was at our, you know, engaged in our career fairs in the past, uh, what opportunities might be available for students at the moment? Are there any opportunities at Tech Systems? Should they be applying for positions? Yeah, definitely. So, um, Unfortunately, not a ton of stuff from the information technology space, but Tech Systems ourselves is 
always hiring. We're looking for um, folks who'd be interested in going into that sales path or even going into that recruiting path. So um, we're hiring in our Melville location right here in Long Island. So um, if folks are definitely interested or even interested in a potential um, other location, we can uh, definitely uh, help them out where we can. So yeah, Tech Systems is definitely hiring. So if people are interested, let me know and I can get them all the proper information. Woohoo! We love to hear that, Jenny. So thank you so much. Um, so, you know, it doesn't look, we maybe have some um, students holding back. If they wanted to connect with you after this call, what might be the best way for them to follow up with you if they have any questions? Yeah, definitely. Um, I think the best way to reach out is always via LinkedIn. I check my LinkedIn messages, my LinkedIn connections multiple times a day. Um, and then from there, we can always, I can give them my phone number and we can always set up a time to speak or my email. So I would definitely say reach out to me via LinkedIn uh, is probably the easiest way to get me. Great. And under the event on Handshake, your LinkedIn profile is in the, the description for this event so they can access it that way or they can always- awesome connect with career services. I do see that one question came in and um, uh, I don't know if you are um, aware if there's any finance focused roles currently available with tech systems. Yeah, so um, Tech Systems, again, is more on the IT side of the house, but we are owned by a parent company called Allegis Group. And under Allegis Group, um, we have different subsidiaries that focus in different areas. So um, one of our subsidiaries is called Aston Carter, and they actually focus in the finance and accounting space. So um, unfortunately, I won't see a ton of finance roles. The Tech Systems ourselves doesn't hire a ton of finance, but I could always put them in touch with um, my colleague who works for Aston Carter, who could definitely talk more to, more to the finance space than I could. Good. Wonderful. And that's the goal of this program, Jenny, is for students to engage with professionals and build connections. So thank you so much for joining our Network with Pride program. We were thrilled to have you and uh, thank stay you. well and stay connected. Awesome. Thank you. All right. Thanks, everyone. Take care.